give it underneath on the right baseline to Fitzpatrick. Out for an Ayers. Jumper, it's a three, and it is bingo! Cam Ayers starts this game with a tray. Up top, it will go to Casper. Off of Fitzy's screen, he'll slither in the lane for a right-hand push shot over the rim and in. And Steven Casper, who had a career high 25 against Penn State Wednesday, has given the Bison a 9-5 advantage over the red flash. Casper up top for the Bison, no look pass for a Haas corner three. Bingo! Chris Haas has been waiting for three games now. To get off the schneid and the great shooter from Michigan has given Bucknell a seven point edge. He'll have the ball wrestled free. He'll gather it in right side. Kick it for a Haas three left side. Bingo! Timeout taken by Dave Paulson here as he wants to get some subs into the game. But Chris Haas getting his first career start gets a standing ovation from the Bison faithful here. Back baseline for a Hoffman pull and shoot jump shot. And he'll bang it in from about 15 feet. Dom Hoffman picking up where Joe Willman left off last year to Harmon, who's hit two threes from the left wing. He's guarded closely by Casper. Nine to shoot. Here's Jackson forcing his way in. The ball knocked loose by Haas. He'll give a long lead pass to Casper. He'll save it somehow to Hoffman. Miss it, but there's Haas to clean up the mess. He'll give it over to Josh A. Singleton dribbles in the lane for a left-hand layup off the glass. And that's what we've been expecting from Josh A. Now give it to the top of the key to Hoffman. Hoffman looks inside, give it outside to Singleton. He'll give it down low to Hoffman, bobble it, lay it off the glass, and good. Tom Hoffman scores. Shot clock at 29. Earl Brown goes against a double team, throws one up, and it's partially blocked by Tom Hoffman. Here's Ryan Frazier with it. Will stop at the top of the key, bumped into by Brown. Send it to Singleton to the baseline to Hoffman for a hook shot. God, God, God. Dominic Hoffman has come off the bench and has scored six points. Inbounds over the shoulder, grab Fitzy, out to errors. He'll go in for a push shot off the black, back of the backboard, no good. Fight for the rebound, Fitzpatrick will come up with the left hand and stick it off the glass and he has four. And Bucknell has built its biggest lead, 32-16. Asper goes strong to the glass, throws one up, backing in the lane. And he ends up getting it off the glass for his fourth point. Well, that's a tough take for the 6'3 junior out of Lakeland, Tennessee. Today's game is brought to you in part by m and Bank. As a leading SBA lender nationally and in many of the communities they serve, so Bucknell gets it back up 34-25. Two minutes left and a half. Great feed! Up top, airs down low. Hoffman and Dominic has 10 points. They'll do so to Ayers who gets a screen by Hoffman. Sets up camp on the left wing. Pulls up for a three. Bingo! Cam Ayers started slowly at University Park there on Wednesday. He is not here tonight. Kick it out to Ayers, dribble right baseline, run into his own man Hoffman, but he still goes up off the glass and puts it in. And Cam Ayers can do very little wrong here tonight. He has 13. Set up camp on the left wing. Dribble to the top of the key, swing it over to Brackney. He'll launch a three. Bingo! Catch and shoot that time for Brackney. Stop, bounce it left baseline to Fitzpatrick with 15 to shoot. Shows the ball, gives to Ayers. Dribble left baseline, draws a double. Swings it up top to Haas, puts a dribble down, 18-footer on the way. Got it! What a sweet shot by Christopher Haas. Airs up top, give a baseline right to Fitzpatrick. He will go with an up and under left-hand little half hook shot. And Fitzy has his first two of the second half and six total. Cam kicks it in the corner to Casper. Steven dribbles in the lane. No look, bounce pass to Hoffman. Pumps, lays it up on a reverse layup, and Hoffman has his first two of the second half. He has an even dozen. Stead swings around to Singleton. will dribble right around the top of the key. Swing it over to the friendly ghost. Feed it underneath to Hoffman. One-on-one -on -one for a 10-foot fading shot, and Dom Hoffman looks so crisp out there. He has 14. Bison 52, red flash 33. Here's a pull-up jumper by Casper, he'll hit it. There is my son on Bison Vision, not doing a very good job cleaning this floor. Dylan Birdsong trying his hardest, but getting a nice round of applause nonetheless. Yay, Dylan. <laughs> getting a nice little chuckle there as well. Bison have led by as many as 21 here today. Great pass for a layup by Starkey, assist. Ryan Hill, what a feed that time. Hill. 
Works off on Corey Starkey. Screen for a nice little looping dribble drive. And Ryan Hill will go to the glass with the right hand on the left baseline. And Hill has his first two tonight. So he'll do so to Cam Ayers. Ayers has 13, but he has yet to score in the second half. Buckdale has only put up 17 in the second half after leading 41-25. Ayers will bomb along three. Bingo! Ask and Cameron will answer. Here's a three by Brackney. Bingo! Kicks it over to Haas, he'll dribble in the lane, pass to McClay, he'll body up, pump, lay it up, and good! DJ McClay gets his first point as a bison. Here is Hill, bounce pass to Oberfeld, throws it up no good, rebound on the backside by his fellow Frosh, DJ McClay, and he has four. A glimpse of more to come for those two youngsters. So Ison will race around the court here, thanking those fans who made it out to Soika Pavilion tonight. The final score from Lewisburg and Soika Pavilion, it was the Buckdale Bison 72 and the St. Francis Red Flash 50.